Hey guys, well, gotta do this video here because I kind of forgot I did had to do it, but those are wondering what multi-tool I got. I ended up getting the rebar, the Leatherman rebar. Throw it back to the side. I've had this for a few days now. If you watch any of the live chats, you'll know that that's one that I ended up getting. So here it is. And quite nice I did use the lanyard loop and some paracord just for the heck of it. But I want to test out a few features here for you today, just to see how it works, what I think I'd end up using this for. If I weren't going to throw this in my bag. That one would be the wire cutters. Uh, pretty obviously, so I'm going to test it out on some wire for you. Got some copper wire here. Um, can't tell you the gauge off the top of my head, but it's thicker stuff. We'll try the very end here, because it is quite heavy. It's not your normal braided stuff and does work as a wire cutter takes a little bit of effort but not so bad but if you got any like the normal braided wire like this right here which is like uh, I believe this is from a television but can't tell you but this is normal you know electronics type wire. We'll see how well this works with the normal wire cutters. And it helps if I actually get it all the way in there the first try. But works just fine. And I got a bucket over here to throw this stuff in. I recycle all this stuff so there it is but you know often I come across quite heavy duty stuff as well like this really thick stuff and I don't know if this thing will be able to get through it if I have to actually go to my normal shears and with the thick stuff definitely have to go to normal cutters no way that's going to do that and this should take me just two tries this is actually from an old microwave But it does cut through one side quite easily. And yeah, just a little bit of work that's done. So wire cutters work. Which is probably most besides the pliers what I'd use it for. But I was curious how useful some of the other tools on here would be. Got a normal knife, which would be fine. Then you got your screwdrivers and your awl and whatever else you have there. And then you got your wood and metal file. This size, I don't see a whole lot of use for it, but might come in handy. No need to test that out. But on the other side, it's always interested to see. Oop, that's a serrated one. How well these knives work. Or not knives, but the saws work. And I got this from a fish tank. Uh, it's been drying for quite a while, but this is an old piece of uh, driftwood. It's quite tough. If you don't believe me, there's no way I can break this with my bare hands except way back here. But it's quite tough. You know, dead wood. Always difficult to cut. And I'm not going to cut all the way through this. I really don't want to draw, dull the blade out, but hopefully you can see that nice cut in there. So the saw works. It's got a nice lock, you lock back feature on here. Wherever they call a locking mechanism, it does work. And I should get this piece of driftwood out of here. And part of the mess. That that is left on my piece of display here. <laughs> I have to clean this off. Not a big deal though. But I also wondered if I can get this out easily. That's one thing I do not like about uh, these multi-tools. It take, makes it a little bit difficult to get to some of the features. 
like the can opener. And since this can of dark red kidney beans is years out of expiration, it's one of these things I found in the back of the car, but let's see how well the can opener works. And I don't use can openers like this too often, but if you're in the field and you need it, it has no problem opening cans. And this is my own errors here, so. This is my first time using this. I don't want to get all the knife all or the multi-tool all gunky. But I hope you can see that. But a quarter of the way around the can. That works just fine. And boy, does that smell. Yeah, these are definitely well past their use by date. But just a couple of tools and the test them out, see how they work. Lockback works fine. So, there you go. Whew, that stinks. The multi tool for my, uh, you know, 72 hour bag or whatever I want to call my bag when I get it all completely done. Works nice, and I know this has been like almost seven minutes, but well worth the $50 if you're interested in getting one. There you go. One of the drawbacks, should put a uh, point out. No tools accessible from the outside, which I don't mind. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Or even made it this far.